what we're going to do with these appliances is to um, put that in and it will guide the teeth that are erupting into the mouth, guide them into their proper sockets, and in the process will expand the adjacent teeth next to them. So we can get an average of about four millimeters of arch expansion in the lower anterior segment and six millimeters in the upper. Well, there have been cases where I have gotten eight millimeters in the lower arch and nine millimeters in the upper. That's more than the width of one upper lateral incisor. So these, this appliance will enlarge the arch and this enlargement even goes back as far as the most posterior molar. So they get an enlargement of the palate, which allows them to breathe through the nose much more easily. This is what happens, the tooth squeezes in and it moves the side teeth apart. And as each tooth comes in, it squeezes the teeth further and further apart. So the canine to canine dimension and the curvature around the arch is increased by four millimeters. And maybe at the molars, it's increased by two or three millimeters. It en enlarges the arch all the way back. It's amazing how much enlargement you get. So this tells you kind of, if you have one central in already, or the first central that widens the arch one and a half millimeters, the second one this amount, this amount. We can also determine if two teeth are present, how much more expansion you get. So the easiest way is to let us diagnose a case, send it to us, and we will calculate that automatically. So we know exactly what size of appliance, how much crowding you're gonna be able to correct if it's not enough, we're going to tell you you're probably going to have to do something else along the line.